from the top, make it drop. We're doing some side hustling. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good? Oh, that's so good. This is Side Hustle and Bustle, the series where I help set you up for side hustle success. My name is Vivian Kay. I'm an entrepreneur who's built three successful businesses from the ground up and generated millions in revenue. I'm your business side hustle expert, cheerleader, motivator, girl, I don't care what you call me, as long as you call me because I got all the answers. You have questions? Comment below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single episode. All right, okay, let's get into it. So you want to start a side hustle. Yay, I'm so happy for you. That's great. Now what? What do you do with that great idea? How do you turn your idea into something real instead of that thing you keep saying you're gonna do? Friend, I can help you out with that. In this episode of Side Hustle and Bustle with Vivian K, that's me. I'm going to introduce you to two budding entrepreneurs at the very early stages of their business. I'm going to give them a little advice on how they can turn their side hustles from dream to reality and make some shamani. Ready? Let's go. I would like for you to meet my homegirl, Faye. And she is in the same boat as you. Faye is a nurse and she's a mom of two who has a great idea. Let's check it out. Hi Vivian, it's Faye Weinstein. It's nap time, which means I can tell you about my product idea. My product idea is Cocoa Pads, which is uh, natural uh, coconut pads for your nipples. Do you like cracked and bleeding nipples? I didn't think so. I know I didn't like it four months ago when I had my daughter. So I want to invent something that will save women's breastfeeding journeys. It ends here, the pain ends here. Please help me make this a reality. I would really appreciate your help, Vivian. First of all, good job, Faye. What I love about your idea is that you had a problem that you needed a solution for. And in my opinion, these are the best businesses to start. Why? Because you found a gap in the market and you figured out how to close it. And friend, that is a money-making machine. And I bet you coconuts. Other new moms have the exact same problem. What about you? Are you ready to work? Well, I'm going to hook you up with a worksheet to help you get started. You ready? Click the link in the description. Faye's problem was that breastfeeding was a hot mess. Like, I mean, she was not happy. There was pain, there was cracks, there was bleeding. Ooh. Nobody wants that. So, what did Faye do? Well, Faye tinkered and she toiled until she came up with something that worked for her. Faye has what we fancy people call MVP, Minimum Viable Product. That's the first version of your product. This is your prototype. Her prototype worked so well that she gave it to other new moms who were also suffering. Faye unknowingly was already doing her market research. Good job, Faye! Which leads me to the next fancy word, proof of concept. Proof of concept is when your idea is validated by someone else who has the same problem. Faye, man, you are just, you just, did. good job, bravo! Faye is already off to a good start. Here's what Faye needs to do next. Faye, are you listening? Okay, you, you, yeah, go grab a pen and paper. more research. You know, find more moms. I'm sure you can find more moms with cracked nipples, yes. Hit up those Facebook groups, the new mom forums, the playground, the nursing bathroom at the mall, you know, where all the new moms hang out. Fifth tip, all the info that you gather from these moms, you can use it later in your marketing. You're welcome. P.S. There's nothing more powerful than a mom with a smartphone and a problem. Go find them. Moving on, nail the name. You want a unique name that your target audience will remember. You want a name that aligns with your values, your products, your vibe. You also want to make sure that no one else is using the name and doing that thing that you want to do. I know what you're thinking. 
how do I stand out from the competition? Well, you niche it. Oh, you want to know more about niching? Oh, well, let me know in the comments and subscribe so we can make more of these episodes happen, okay? All right, let's make this thing. Speaking of making things, we're going to make the thing. You're going to find someone to make this product or you can DIY it to get it going. Remember, this is your prototype. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always improve on it later. In fact, so many people waste so much time perfecting that first version, but then they get stuck in this vicious cycle and then they never launch. Think about it. How many versions of the iPhone are there? We are on version 12. Trust me, trust your audience. They will give you feedback even when you don't want it. So let's talk about timelines. I want you to put a reasonable timeline together so you can get started. One week might be a little too short, but 12 months, 12 months is too long, friend. Set a schedule for yourself. Like say week one, do some research. Week two, search for domain names. You know what, hold up. Just download the worksheet. Make it easier for the both of us. Download the worksheet and then we can get going. Remember when I mentioned two budding entrepreneurs? I'm going to introduce you to two entrepreneurs. Let me introduce you to Priya. Hi Vivian, my name is Priya and this is my business idea. A tablescape in a box. Over here I've got an example of what a tablescape in a box is. It's all the items you need to create a beautiful tablescape for your next event, whatever that event might be. Vivian, my question to you is, how do I market this? How do I get the idea out there? Because I know once you have one tablescape, you'll want to have them at all the rest of your get-togethers. Thank you so much for all of your help and support, Vivian. Looking forward to hearing from you. Bye. Priya, I love your tablescape in a box idea. It's so cute. What I love about Priya's business is that she has the solution for the how to level up your party decor in a box problem. She also has an MVP and she has proof of concept. I love that Priya has a full-fledged business that's ready to go. But before that can happen, there are a few steps that she has to take. Let me break it on down for you. I'm going to say it again. Nail the name. What's the name of your business? No, seriously, what's the name of your business? Is it Tablescapes? Is it Priya's Tablescapes? Is it P to the T to the Tablescapes? Either way, once you have the name, you need to secure a domain name. Secure the .com, the .ca, .net, I don't care what it is, just secure the domain name. Then you need to organize. I know this is scary, but you need to get a workflow set up. Sign up for Google Workspace where you can use the whole Google Suite, Gmail, Calendar, Docs, all that jazz to help you streamline your business. Then you're going to monopolize all the socials. Remember that domain name? You're going to go and secure it on all the social media channels. I'm talking Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, all of them. Even the ones you don't think you need. You don't want your business to blow up and find that someone's squatting on your name. Tip tip! Doing this will also increase your visibility, AKA free 99 marketing. Yay! Who doesn't love free 99? Now we're starting to get close to that marketing thing you asked me about. Remember what Priya's original question was? How do I market this? How do I get, it, get the idea out there? Yeah, we're, we're there now, but before we start doing Facebook ads and SEO and all that other fancy stuff, I'm going to need you to narrow down exactly who you're marketing to, AKA, who's your target audience. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in the next episode. This is where you hit the subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Okay, to wrap this up, both Priya and Faye have great ideas that they are eager to transform into side hustles, but I need them to lay down more of a foundation before they go to market. If you're at a similar stage and you're ready to take action, here are your next steps. Do more research. Nail the name. Make the thing. Organize the workflow. Monopolize the domain and the socials. 
If you're starting from the idea stage, download the worksheet and then you're gonna come back to this. Stay tuned for the next episode where I show you how to master your mindset. Hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss the next step in your side hustle journey. Okay, thanks, bye!